Hey, what's up guys? It's Jay Smith Gaming here. Hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be going over some Town Hall 2 attack strategies and some beginner tips for people who are new to the game. So if you're new to the game or new to the channel, welcome and thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. It really means a lot. Um, I'm actually starting a Let's Play series that's going to walk you through all the Town Hall levels. This is the first video starting at Town Hall 2 and working my way all the way up. And I'm going to be giving you tips along the way so that way you can become the best Clash of Clans player possible. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Now let's get into the video. All right, let's get into it. So one of the things I always stress to new players and just friends who are new to the game is I always prioritize offense over defense. And the reason I do that is because you will always be able to win more loot than you will be able to lose on defense. So offense always takes priority. And that's what I'm going to start out with is how to attack. I'm going to be using a attack strategy called BARCH. BARCH stands for Barbarians and Archers, so that's where the acronym comes from. So we're going to go ahead and do a raid, and I'm going to tell you what I look for. So this has 295, 4, 748. That's a little bit too low for me. Um, I always try to shoot for bases over, I'd say, about 800. And so this is a perfect base for that. But the problem is it's a little too high level for me. Um, I'm a Town Hall 2. I can't really attack this base. So let's keep finding one. This is another good one, but it's really just not the best example of a base that I should attack. Still a little too high. Let's go ahead and see if we can find a base worth attacking. All right, all right, all right. So some of the things that I look for in a base is not only a good amount of loot, but I wanna see where the defenses are placed. Also, I also wanna see um, where the collectors and just really just the overall placement of the base and once I find a good raid uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I look for so this looks like it's town hall 3 or town hall 4 can't really attack that we might have to resort to just hitting a base that doesn't have that much loot just for the sake of the video and let's go ahead and see all right this has a ton of loot so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this base so as you can see, the defenses are kind of tucked away, and as you can see, the gold storage is overflowing, and so are the gold collectors. So when you see the gold collectors have a ton of gold on the outside, it means that they have loot in them. Um, typically, if a base has nothing in the gold storage right there, but a lot in the collectors, it, there's a that's where you want to hit, is where the collectors are. So with Barch, you want to put the barbarians down first, and then you want to follow up with the archers so we're going to go ahead and follow up with the archers and see what we can do and get some of this loot here all right so that's going in and barge isn't really a three star strategy it's really just a strategy composed to just get you as much loot as possible i'm not going to three star this base at all um i'm probably not even going to one star it honestly uh but i did get a decent amount of loot over it I probably got over a thousand. I'll have to check. Yep, 2000 gold, really not bad. I can't complain about that. And 364 elixir, didn't get that much there. But as you can see, I got zero stars on that raid. And so, how the star system works is you get one star for getting 50% on a base, you get another star for attacking and destroying the town hall. This is the town hall. And then you get the third star for completely destroying the base. When you get 100% of the base destroyed, that's when you are granted that 100% uh, victory and that three star bonus. So we're gonna go ahead while this trains up, let's see if there's, okay, that's training up. So as you can see, there's a little notification in the top left of my screen. Uh, and that's called, this is from the My Profile. And when you scroll down, you will see a bunch of these achievements. I got an achievement for upgrading my gold storage to level two. And so I'm gonna go ahead and claim that. So what, what this is, is as you progress through the game and you do different achievements, like you upgraded Town Hall 3, you get five gems. The achievements just get bigger and bigger and bigger so you get more and more gems. So that's an awesome way to not only get free gems, that way you can uh, upgrade your base better, you can get loot, you can really just 
upgrade your base as a whole and just play the game how you want it to be played. Um, something that I always recommend to my friends is I don't recommend spending your gems early in your career. And the reason being is because you see these little builders in the top left, these are really valuable and you're gonna wanna get as many of these as you can and it is possible to get all five of them for free. You just have to go through these achievements, do them, do what you need to do, and you will get these pretty re relatively easily. You can at least get four, the first four relatively easily um, because you can just go through the achievements as you progress through the game. And another way to get quick and easy gems is actually by taking the stones and the bushes out. These things give you XP and gems. You don't get gems every time, but there's always, there's always a good chance that you will get some. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a replay of a successful barge attack. So what we did here is, as you can see, this is a, another Town Hall 2. And what I did is because both of these defenses are exposed, I put five barbarians to tank on each side of the cannon. And then I put archers behind it to just back it up, do some extra damage. And then I put a couple extra just to back it up and help clean up the base. So a lot of the bases that you will find at the Town Hall 2 level will be extremely vulnerable because they will have their ba uh, defenses on the outside so it's really easy to 3 star these bases and it's a great way to get a lot of easy loot and just take advantage of the uh, poor planning and just lack of knowledge early on in the game. So as you can see this was a quick 1000 pickup really not bad that's a lot of loot for most players especially at town hall 2 so really not bad now what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna sh properly show you how to set your base up for success so what i'm gonna do here is as you can see my base is currently set up in the way of my defenses are spread out but they also have structures in the way so that way it prevents troops from directly attacking them. Obviously, um, there is the archer tower somewhat exposed, but they would have to deploy a bunch of archers back there um, to destroy that. And even then they'd have to go through both the cannons over here. So it, it's gonna be hard to three star, especially at a Town Hall 2 level. It's gonna probably gonna take a Town Hall 3 or maybe a Town Hall 4 to three star this. And that's really what I would do. You could copy this base setup that I have, or you can make your own. I just recommend that you have your bases, or your defenses tucked away, um, so that way it's not so easy for them to just, like I, like I did to that previous base uh, shown in the replay, uh, where the defenses are super exposed. So go ahead, put some structures away, uh, put some structures ahead of your defenses, and keep them protected so that way you can defend your base as best as possible. So now the next thing I want to talk uh, talk about is the clan castle. This is the little broken building that you'll see. And this clan castle, oh, I need to move this. This clan castle is basically, you're, you have the ability to join a clan with up to 50 other players and you're able to donate them troops or you're able to donate you troops. And these troops, you can deploy them in battle or you can use them to defend their base. It's super awesome to have their, uh, joining a clan makes the game so much more fun because you have people to talk talk with and just really discuss strategy and it's really fun to play the game with the community who enjoy the game just as much as you do. So that really wraps it up for this video guys. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed. Um, like I said, this is my first video uh, in the Let's Play series. I'm gonna be walking you through all the Town Hall levels and tips to make yourself a better player. So go ahead, smash that like button and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you again so much for watching my video.